So the Xbox has been uh, installed, set up, and now we're playing the update game. Cheers. What? What do you think? You think it's real or you think I got shit to steal down with? <laughs> you got lots to do. Barriers. We've been at this for like 30 minutes now. That's not true. It's pretty true. You're over exaggerating. I'd say 15 minutes. I'm going to edit out what you just said. We've been at this for multiple hours. My controller needs to be updated. <laughs> oh my god. Jesus, Xbox. It's called the human Oh, I, re I read it. For those of you following Beard Watch, it's not not looking good still. Well, that's enough of that. So back to real life shit. Well, at least for a little while, like some emails and whatnot. About the time of morning, AM stuff's done. I need to do something. Need to move. It's Monday. I've tried to give this sickness thing a little bit of time, but we're gonna do something. So do some rowing. And I'm going to do some deadlifts, kind of uh, back and forth for a handful of rounds. I'm not sure of distance and or weight, but we'll see how it goes. Ten deadlifts. The weight's gonna go up. So is the row distance. So wrapped up this morning's workout. It's pretty uh that's pretty mean. Made me think about something. What about your hands. You know, I see a lot of pictures of uh torn calluses and big nasty calluses and dry cracked hands. I think there's a lot of pride that comes from guys uh you know having a little bit gnarlier hands. However, I don't have any of that. I'm a thrower and lifter, and if I start getting torn calluses or jacking my hands up, I can't compete. And you just can't compete at your fullest. There's no way to tough through it or any of that. So hand maintenance is a big deal and I think it gets overlooked and it's really, really simple to accomplish. So I'm gonna run you through you guys through what I do to take care of my hand. First thing I do is I use, basically it's pretty simple. If you've got big gnarly things, you're gonna have to cut some stuff off to get things back to normal. You're gonna need to get one of those razors on a stick. Other than that, I actually just use the normal pet egg. This works pretty good. I can get in there, grind things off. This travels easy. It doesn't weigh much. 
Now basically just go over each one of the calluses uh, individually from a couple of different angles and then I get onto the fingers as well. I will actually get calluses from throwing up on these knuckles. Those are no fun either. So grinding away at all those as well as the inside of my thumb where my hook grip is on both hands really saves me from even tearing calluses and missing more training. Missing training because of a torn callus is your own fault. Now I believe there's sometimes things happen, maybe you got really hot and sweaty and your hands get that soft pruny shit feeling and you couldn't do anything about it. And then that's okay, shit happens. But for the most part, a torn callus is just due to negligence of your hands. Take care of those things. I do the same for my feet. Keep those things moving. After I'm done, I'm gonna apply a salve. What I use, I use this uh, Rip Fix by Winnie's, and it uh, seems to work pretty good. Keeps my hands uh, from getting all cracked and dry, especially traveling from time zones and area codes around the country or the world. It's nice and humid down here, so I don't run into a lot of trouble, but it can get worse. So take care of your hands. That's basically it. And your hands are good to go. Like any craftsman, you take care of your tools. You lift weights, these are those. So. Hand maintenance is gonna save you a lot of headache in the future. Pretty easy, it takes less than a minute. You can do that a couple times a week. That's all you gotta do. Look like it's gonna be my first day of my official off season. Uh, gonna squat, got some high volume. I'm jumping in on the second half of my high volume program. Gonna be five sets of 10 and it looks like 348, 360, 360 pounds. Somewhere in that range. So that's what I got going on and uh, enjoy some training. For sure, since I feel like shit, today's gonna be a squat and done. Uh, probably not gonna do a lot of accessory work. Oh well. Go ahead and slap my strong sleeves on from the jump. So I start every off season with high volume work. It's just the idea that I'm getting back in. I'm not throwing for a while. And I'm gonna just build that base again to start building the rest of my season on. So that's why I do it. Weights aren't real heavy. It's a matter of moving. <sighs> Well, I have five sets of 10 prescribed today. The last set was hard, so that's set number one. So four more. I think you better call. These squats plus this cold fucking kicking my ass. I think you better call him. I think you better call him cause I'm calling you out. I think you better call him. I'm absolutely fucking dying. I have one set left. I want to give a shout out though to Matt Russell. I got a chance to meet you at Loon. Uh, I've been following your stuff and dude's lost like over 125 pounds. Follows my programming. I mean, my programming didn't do it dude. It's the effort that you put in. I'm happy to be an inspiration in any way that you think I am, but I find you to be one of those guys really motivating. So thanks a bunch, man. And this next set's for you. I really don't want to do it. <coughs> All right, Maddie.
Thanks, dude. So that's the workout. Well, I did, a, did good mornings. With the CMBs, nothing special there. And this morning's deadlifts probably helped. A good day, progress. Now look, I know my squat form's not the best. I have some impingement issues in a hip as well as my ankle. I do believe I can pass the squat in competition if need be. But as far as training goes, I'm gonna go with comfortable and doesn't cause me more joint pain to say, keep me from training legs the next day. As a thrower, I'm never gonna hit parallel depth. However, if I need to get into a powerlifting meet and get the job done, I can fucking do that work. So, that's what I do. Some days I even squat to a high box. I'm an old guy. And uh, just do what I can to keep the body moving instead of causing injuries and in training. It just doesn't make any sense. I also don't like feeling overtrained or the difference between soreness and joint pain, which is bad. I'm trying to avoid the latter of those two so that I can keep making progress muscular. Muscularly? Muscularly. Whatever. Make my muscles more strongest best way I can. So that's why my squats look the way they do. I'm not that great. So do what works for you. Don't let uh, anyone else stress you out. So that's the day. I feel like shit, but it's done. Monday's out of the way. Squats are over with for the week. Move forward. It's cold's killing me. Hope you guys enjoyed the video anyway. But I got in and did the work. I'm probably gonna suffer a little bit for it, but I will. Hey, bro. Hey, buddy. So, got that work done. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Check out the new gear. These are still available. TheHate.com. And, uh... That's it. That's all I got. So, thanks uh, for watching me die.